Yo, 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 guys! So today, if you have not noticed already, we are rocking an Alice in Wonderland themed set. My absolute fave. I was so excited when my client came to me and asked for this theme. So I'm starting, first of all, by pushing back the cuticles. A lot have been asking. This cuticle pusher is just from NSI. I'm not sure it's got a special name or anything like that. So I pushed the cuticles back on all 10 nails. Before this, I have sanitized and cleansed the hands and all that for jazz. Next, I'm going in with my cuticle bit, which you can find at Todak USA. I will leave the link down below to their store. And on all 10 nails, I just go around the cuticle area, removing any excess skin. A little bit more action on that front. Look at all that skin coming off. If any of that is left on the nails, you will get lifting. I can guarantee that. So this needs removing 100%. If you're not using a cuticle bit like me, you can go ahead and just use a regular hand file to remove the shine. This also makes sure that the extra skin is removed from the nail plate. Blah, blah, blah. I've missed a few steps just because why the hell not? Move straight on to blending in those tips. All I'm doing here is using a hand file. I've already applied the tips and cut them to length and I'm just going in and blending those babies in. I didn't need to do this because I will be using a nude acrylic, but I always just prefer to do it no matter what don't ask me why maybe i like to create a little bit more work for myself i do not know anyway guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos i am going to be having a lot coming up this year as you all know my target is 100k and i think we can definitely get there As you can see, I am still going in with the file, shaping the sidewall. It's so much easier to get your shape on point before you lay that acrylic because it just saves a lot of time. So I do take extra care when doing this bit just to get it absolutely bang on. It's a more energetic video today. I am proper getting into this business. Um, I just want to create a little bit more fun, a little bit more just like, let's get to it. It's the way I am every day, so why should I start being a little prim and proper and perfect nail tech on YouTube, guys? Next step, we're going in with the primer. The primer that I like to use is NSI Super Bond. I also use their acid free nail primer, just depending on which client is coming in. As I've got to know the nails, I will determine which one I will use and how many coats. Then I am going in with this nude acrylic, also from NSI, and just applying that over all 10 nails. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can see my name up in the corner. And guys, come on, let's get 200 likes for this video. Give it a thumbs up. I know you want to. So with this acrylic, I am also using the NSI Attraction Liquid, which is what I use with all of my clients. Here is a little close-up shot, just because everybody loves a little close-up. Okay guys, yeah, don't forget as well to go ahead and follow me on Snapchat at Ninja Nail Fairy. You'll get a lot of behind the scenes action when I am with clients, but also a lot of family stuff and bits about me that you wouldn't normally get to see.
Once the acrylic has set, I am coming in with my ceramic smooth top drill bit again from Todak USA, which is where I purchase most, if not all, of my drill bits. And I am just refining the nail shape. Once I have done that, I do come in with a hand file and refine further. And then I decided on this set to have sort of like a shimmery, glistening background. We didn't want it so flat. We wanted to go with an elegant feel because they were for a 50th Alice in Wonderland themed birthday party. So we chose this gel polish from IBD Just Gel. I will leave the colour down below. I apply one thin layer to all 10 nails and then seal with the Madame Glam gel top sealer. Again, link down below. And I will also have a 30% coupon code for you guys to use on their website. Once I have finished applying the gel polish, I just go in with a buffer and buff off that top coat slightly. And then I'm going in with just acrylic paints and painting on my details. So I didn't quite get a chance to film all of the details that I added just because there was a lot to go on there and my battery was dying. So I did have to end up switching to my phone. If you do want to see the characters in more detail on how to paint them then just please leave that comment down below and I will do that for you. I am absolutely in love with Alice in Wonderland. I am due to go and get some more of my sleeve done with Lisa and I think I am going to take you guys with me on that day so you can see like a little tattoo vlog. Some more of my Alice in Wonderland themed sleeve being done. Which I think will be pretty darn exciting. So here I am painting the clock using some white and also some gold acrylic paint. And then I went ahead and applied some little cards and the rabbit and a few other details and some stamping with lace, some Swarovski crystals and a 3D massive blinged out bow. I do have those large bows available on my store. You will find the link for that down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one, I will see you later. Have a fantastic evening or day, whatever time it is where you are. Just be blessed and stay happy. Thanks for watching. Bye.